Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we got Luca's best weapon in the game, the Wonder Shot, and in this part, we are going to go to 23 AD for Robo's uh, side quest, like his official side quest. And you know, you'll it'll you'll discover a couple things about him too. No spoilers, of course. Uh, so around here, there should be this place called the Geno Dome. It's like on a... no, that's not it. That's the Sun Shrine or Sun Palace. Maybe it's to the right of that. Yeah, here it is. This is the Geno Dome. It looks like one of those factory buildings or whatever. Um, also, make sure you have... Uh, damn it. I always press the wrong button when, button when I'm party switching. Uh, yeah, so make sure you have Robo as your lead uh, character. Otherwise, you will not be able to get into this place, because he's the only one who can access the computer. Prometheus, huh? Well, that's an interesting name. Isn't that like, uh... I know that's a name from, like, Greek mythology, isn't it? Prometheus? I feel like it is. So I guess that's his nickname or whatever. It kind of sucks that, uh... You know, they only give you, like, four letters to... Or I'm sorry, five letters to name your character. Otherwise, I probably would have called him Prometheus. I mean, I guess a, I could have called him Promo. <laughs> That'd be a funny name, actually. So anyways, you're going to have to face a little gauntlet of enemies here. They're not really that difficult, to be honest. Uh, I think they're variations of the guys we fought like at the beginning of the game. When we winded up in, uh, you know, in 23 AD for the first time. Hooray, level up. Ooh, du Duo Tech Fire Punch. I mean, that's nice. I'm assuming that uses Luka's Fire and uh, Robo's uh, Uzi Punch or something. I'm gonna show it off real quick, and then I'm just gonna skip all these guys. I mean, if you can't deal with if you can't deal with these guys at this point in the game, you should just stop playing video games. So. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Looks like, uh, like a dragon attack or something, I don't know. Actually, it looks more like a flamethrower attack. Like from Pokemon, but that's not, at all, that's not always a bad thing. Anyways, I'm gonna skip the rest of these. Okay, I just wanted to show this off, uh, real quick. Robo got a new move called Area Bomb, but that's, uh, kinda sounds similar to Napalm, I suppose. Actually, it looks kind of like it now that I look at the animation. Um, actually, no oh shit. Let's see, we got two more left. I think this is the last of the, uh... No, fuck, I didn't want to give it to a robo shit. Yeah, don't you just love that they heal themselves even though they're just gonna die? I love that, it's, it's awesome. Anyways, come on, can we... Okay, you're dead. And now you're dead. Hooray. I think that's the last of them. I actually have to uh, switch out my party member. I have to get Aelin here for a couple of reasons. Yeah, not bad for humans. Well, excuse me, princess. That's actually the first thing. Uh, I want to switch Luca with Ayla. The first reason is so she can steal something from uh, some enemies that we're going to face. Uh, let's, uh, let's kill these robots first, though. Okay, now that that's over with, um... Yes. Okay, we got the triple attack twister. That's gonna be very helpful against the boss here, I would say. Now what's this? 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Well, what are you gonna do about that? Are we gonna call Seymour and have him, you know, kill everyone? By turning into sin or something? Yeah, so, the... The kicker with this, uh, you see that Ponzo doll that's over there? We need to get two of those in this place. Problem, we can't get to this one because this asshole's in the way. And for some reason you can't just fight him and kill him. I have no idea why. So instead, you have to find, like, uh... You have to find another robot that kind of matches up with him. Alright, um, like I said, you have to match up like a pair of them. There's gonna be another one later in this uh, place. 
but we'll get to that in a bit. First, we're going to take this elevator up. And here's your save point, in case you wanted it. There it is. Um, if we go north here, there's a tab here. Power tab, yeah. And what we want to do is keep going north. Don't you understand that this planet would be peaceful if there are no humans around? And yet you still want to fight? Why? Because this is an RPG, that's why. Dumb bitch. Oh, that's the, like, the, the mother or master uh, program. The NPC, that's the, that's the one that's talking to us. I guess maybe a bit monologuing also. Actually, you know what, since I got, since I got these all in the room, I'll show you Twister. If the enemy would give me a chance to attack. <sighs> Alright, so here is Twister, quite powerful. Basically, they all stack on top of each other, and they make, like, some dark... I guess tornadoes or something. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to reference the movie Twister or something. I actually have that on uh, VHS. It's, it's a nice movie. I remember watching it in uh, Earth Science when I had that back in high school. Yeah, I mean, it's always, it's always uh, nice to watch a movie in high school. Or in school, for that matter. I mean, it had little to do with, you know, what we were talking about, but... Yeah, so you can see that robot over there. That's actually uh, the one that matches up with the other one. But one thing we want to do is we want to change that. You might have noticed the uh, the conveyor belt down there. It goes to the north now. That'll be useful for later, let me tell you. Uh, what the fuck are these things? Oh, I could probably just... Oh, it's Falcon hit these things. Let me tell you, these laser guards, like, are really inconspicuous, to me, at least. I mean, they just seem to blend in right with the background, almost. I mean, without, like, their red dot things, I would say that they're a part of, you know, all these things that are on the floor here. Uh, so anyways, another thing you want to do is you want to turn this laser thing off. I don't think you really have to, but just for convenience sake, I, I like to. So I don't have to keep on going, you know, forward and backward and all that. Uh, if you go in this room here, there's going to be some chests here, and I think, yeah, some enemies too. I'll just skip them. Alright. Uh, now, in the chest, there's a lapis, and more importantly, an elixir. For, yeah, for some reason, they give you a lot of lapises in this uh, uh, dungeon, for lack of better words. And I'm not sure why, because we can just buy those from the goddamn shop. <sighs> Whatever. Um, another thing we want to do, we want to go back up, actually, and, uh, I probably should have done this, uh, at the beginning, but I'll do it right now. Instead of going through that room to the north, if you go down here, there's gonna be more of these laser guards. Um, they actually have a risk of exploding, like that. You see, if they attack themselves, they're, then they're gonna explode on you, commit suicide. I don't know if you still get experience, probably not. But they are pretty weak by themselves, so... Yeah, there's that. There's a chest here. Another lapis. What did I tell you guys, huh? Um, in order to hit that switch up there, you actually have to be running with Robo. So if you just hold B and... Or make sure you're running and then just go north and he'll, like, immediately jump up and... And, uh, get that. And also, in this room, there's a tab right here. It's a little hard to see. yeah, it's a little hard to see, you can just barely see it spark. So yeah, that's a magic tab, and more importantly, Mega Elixir. That's a lot more useful than a single magic tab could ever be. See, if you go up here... Listen well, humans, Lavos' children will one day have to leave, have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. God, you're sounding more like Seymour, I swear to God. It's uh, kind of disturbing me a little. Anyways, if you go down here, you'll find a shit ton of money here. Uh, through the door, you're going to find a... I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh... All you really know is that there's people here, and that they're, I don't know, doing stuff, doing something to the people. Maybe they're mutilating them, putting anal probes in. 
I mean, your guess is as good as mine. They don't really say it in the game, so... I'm sure, like, there's some messed up fanfic about it somewhere. Uh, there's a full, full ether there. It's pretty much all you get. There's not, like, a hidden area or something there. You'd think there would be, but there isn't. Um... Uh, we can get these out of the way. I think these enemies stay here, but we'll just get rid of them right now. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, yeah, no, Ayla, use your... Use your dino tail. That'll, dig, that'll get rid of most of them. If two of them didn't commit suicide. Or one of them. Because I, I saw one attack the other, so I think that indicates that they commit suicide. I don't know, like, what the chance of them doing that is, but... Man, that dino tail is pretty strong. Shit. Especially for multi-target. Easy 2000 experience right there, guys. If you go a little north, uh, this is the gateway to the, uh... Oh, there's another one of these guys. He's another dino tail. So this is the gateway to, like, the NPC, the, you know, the Master Control Program, so to speak. If anyone's seen Tron, you know what I mean. Actually, I've never seen Tron. I only know that from playing Kingdom Hearts 2, but that's another story. So those two spots that are side to side, those are where the Ponzo go, uh, Ponzo dolls go. And we can get one, like, right now, actually, if I can get my ass back downstairs. Come on. Oh, wait, did I go through here? Oh, that was the elevator, okay. I was just wondering for a second. Uh, yeah, truth be told, this is actually my third time recording this. Uh, the first time I did so god-awfully bad that, um... Well, I, I just had to scrap it because I ended up taking like 40 minutes to do this shit. And I didn't mean to do that originally, so... It, it's like, well, fuck, I might as well do it over again then if I'm gonna be that bad at it. Uh, the second time, I did I did much better. I shaved off, like, seven minutes or whatever, so it was, like, I think 32 minutes, maybe. Um, but the problem was, when I put it back in Camtasia Studio to, like, edit it or whatever, and render it, I noticed that, like, the audio for my voice was, like, way off what was going on in the game. And I usually only have that issue with, uh... I usually only have that issue with Ocarina of Time when I'm dealing with that. Because I have to record the auto, the audio for my voice separate from the actual, uh, like input for the dazzle. So that's just fucking weird. Anyways, uh, if you talk to this computer, or not, you don't talk to it, you interact with it. Uh, it'll tell you a couple of things. I already, I kind of already explained the conveyor belt and uh, shit like that, and the Ponzo dolls. So what you can do here is uh, you can charge up Robo with electricity, and if you go to certain, uh, no nah, shit. I fucked that up. Uh, that, you see that that latch is actually like locking it right now, so I can't actually go into it right now. I gotta tinker with the thing up here. Go ahead, commit suicide. I don't give a shit. Your lives are your robotic lives are meaningless, anyways. I find it I find it like strangely ironic that I'm using like a prehistoric. Uh, dinosaur tail to kill these things when they like claim to be superior beings or whatever and then we just like destroy them I find that kind of funny so the sequence here is red green uh, red pretty easy to pretty easy to figure out if you haven't looked up a walkthrough that is I guess which I, I don't think I did the first time I played this game I thought uh I mean unless a boss was really giving me trouble I probably wouldn't look it up because as I know, this is a fairly straightforward game, I would say. So that's the first Ponzo doll right there. Um, one secret that a lot of people, well, probably not the average gamer would know about, is if you go out of the room and back in, like I just did, and if you go back to where the doll is, or was, you see that sparkle? There is a speed tab there in its place. How awesome is that? No idea why it appears there you know, uh, after you pick it up. I mean, why wouldn't you notice, notice it the first time? That's... I don't know. There's something weird about that. So anyways, there's a couple other doors that are like this. This is one right here I'm gonna open up. 
because I think you get an elixir. Oh, wait. Sorry, I had to open the latch first. And here is, there's some more chests. Holy shit, 50,000 gold. Holy fuck. And we got a full tonic, well hell yeah. Luckily there's no enemies to deal with that time, so that's nice. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, th th okay, this is gonna be the pain in the ass uh, one to get. Let me... Uh, that conveyor belt that we used earlier, we basically have to use that to... Uh, give us more momentum so we can reach the next one because this one is difficult I I mean in my previous recordings I had difficulty with it I might be able to do it this time you see I was already too late I'll make sure that latch is open anyways that could be uh that can be a factor because if you almost make it and the latch is closed you're you're pretty much fucked you see they just barely give you enough time to make it I mean you have to be in and out there you know like you're having diarrhea or something I know that's a kind of nasty analogy, but there you go, I guess. Alright, come on, make it this time, Robo. Make that shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, ha, ah, fuck. I've done it before, I know it's possible, and I, I don't think there's any kind of shortcut you can make. Unless I'm just retarded. I don't know. Like, from the walkthrough that I've looked up uh, for this place, because the first time blind, it took me forever, so I, I had to kind of get to know my uh, way around here. Alright, if I, if I don't get it on the third time, I'm just gonna skip to it until I get it right, because it's it's just monotonous at what it is. I mean, the animation is exactly the same as all the other doors opening up, so why bother having it in the video if it's gonna take a while? You see, like that. So I'm just gonna skip ahead. 